Hey guys, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Indigo Chapter 2. In the last episode, we took care of the uh, ship dungeon, and there wasn't a boss, but that's okay. Um, apparently, that's going to be in the full version. So now we need to go look for that Igatha um, place where the last sigil is. So let's see if we can find that. It was over um, where we rescued the, um, you know, the lady with the wagon. It's over there somewhere. Still the best ROM hack, arguably, that I have played yet. Closely competing with the Sealed Palace, which was the first ROM hack that I played, and that one just completely blew me away. I think that I'm going the right direction. Not 100% sure. Yeah, I think so, because this area leads over to the rainy, stormy area where the lady with the wagon was, that I got the sword. That's a dead end. It looks like it might be something in the future, though. Yeah. The purple rainy area. Someone pointed out, and I didn't notice this, but the uh, quick spin attack actually uses your magic power. Which is an interesting new mechanic, because normally in, you know, Ocarina of Time, when you do just a quick spin attack by spinning the stick and pressing V, um, it just does a free spin attack without using any magic, but it actually uses magic in this one, which is cool. X for uh, some magic management. Yeah, it was over this way, I think. Pathway to Igatha or whatever. Let's check the sign. Igatha Village, Dash and Dan's Daring Derby Drift. So this is the way we go. Gonna want to make sure I 100% this one because it's so good and not too long, probably. Not a whole lot more I can imagine in this demo. It's a long demo. Um, oh, nice. A Scardita. I'll take that. 19 so far. I think there's 30 total, right? So there's only uh, 11 more left. Let's see what happens this way. Road to Agatha. It's kind of dark over here. Oops. I don't know why I'm going to whip out my anchor to uh, take down the bat. Huh. Got some uh, buzz... What is it? Buzz blobs? Someone reminded me the name of them in the comments. From the... Uh, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance Ages games. Buzz Blobs. It would hit the fence, wouldn't it? Can we break these rocks with the uh, anchor? Wow, nice. What's in here? Whoa, Igatha Ruins. Holy crap. So this is dungeon, I guess. It's got the little teleporter thing in there. Wow. Alright, uh, I kind of want to explore the other areas first. Like Gotha Ruins. Alright. Road to Agatha. Let's go the other way. Back to the weird lagging thing again. Still don't understand that. I know people have said it could be because I'm recording at the same time, but it didn't happen with some of the other ROM hacks. And it happened, like, in the beginning of Nimpy's, but then stopped, like, after every other episode. And, and here, it just happens sporadically, like, at random times, like, for no reason, and then it kind of clears up. No reason why my computer hardware shouldn't, you know, should have anything to do with it, because we're way overpowered. Let's see. What's in here? Oh. Hello there. Can I talk to you? Nafaje, the Oculite. Greetings, friend. What brings you here? My name is Nafaje. I'm a de uh, devout researcher of the Scar. My studies have led me towards these insects that seem to live off corruption. I call them a Scardita. Ah. You may have seen some already. I'm keen to get my hands on them. Mainly their uh, eyeballs. 
<laughs> dot, 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 dot. If you happen to come across some Scardita on your journey, I will reward you for bringing me their eyes. Thank you, my friend. And I hope to see you again soon. I do have some already. Can I give them to her? Her, him? Greetings. Have you procured any? Yes. Incredible. With these, I'm sure to progress more on my understanding of Scardita. Take this as a reward for thanks. Oh, adult's wallet. 4,999 rupees. Holy crap. Greetings. I wonder what... What's the next one we get? Whoa, the Pegasus boots. Allow you to run at incredible speeds. We saw those in... Uh, your spin attack will be replaced with Pegasus Dash. Hold B. Okay. We saw that in part one. Is there anything else we can get? Incredible. All right. Zora's flippers. Flip, flap, flip, flap. You can flap around with these and swim like a Zora. Try not to drown. Whoa. All right. I appreciate the sentiment. Unfortunately, this isn't enough to continue my research with. I'd be grateful if you returned with a few more to aid in my discovery. Wow. All right. So we got some new stuff just for doing that. Flippers. Oh, and they can be equipped as... Uh... <laughs> Alright, yeah, it would make sense that you wouldn't want to wear these uh, on normal ground. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. Alright, so... And the Pegasus boots we saw in uh, Demo 1. Oof. <laughs> that is so cool. Alright. Cool. Scardita Tracker. Ancient Deku Tree. Oh, it tells you how many are in each place. Captain's Flagship, Deku Tree are 100% clear. Five in the ruins. Three more left in the plains. And one in Mid Valley Ranch. One in the forest. One in the Ice Cave and River. Lina's clear. Abandoned Shipyard's clear. Road to Igoth is clear. Happy hunting. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I, like, I love being able to see how many more are left in an area when there's collectibles in a game because it doesn't drive you crazy like where the heck am i missing one and now we can carry a butt ton of rupees holy crap we could probably purchase the other shield from the shop if it lets us that's so awesome actually super useful rewards for defeating the scarditas so it's not just you know collect 50 for the piece of heart and the wallets well i mean yeah we could get the wallets in uh, vanilla ocarina of time but there wasn't really a need for the bigger wallets that I could think of, there was nothing in that game that required, this is probably another uh, hub spot, that required the larger wallets, except for if you needed to like, oh nice, buy a, another tunic. Oh nice, we finished another heart container, sweet, and another hub spot. I'll tell you what man, this demo is like the coolest thing ever. I cannot wait, no I'm kinda actually lost track of where I was. Okay. The more I see this demo, the more it's just become my absolute favorite because of all the cool ages and seasons references and the new items. Oh, there's like a uh, there's a hole over there. How do I get over there though? Huh. Unless we get Rock's Feather eventually like we did in part one or the chapter one of the demo. Whoa, what the heck? He, like, came right after me. <laughs> Alright, make sure there's nothing, uh... Well, it said that Road to Igatha didn't have any Scarditas, right? So, I think we're good in that aspect. Alright, let's go... Ch that scared me. Um, check out the ruins. It's very dark here. They definitely did a good job making it not very visible. I definitely want to collect all the rupees that I can now, because... We can carry 4,999 rupees. I love the 10 value rupees. They're very helpful. It's another awesome thing to add to my list of this game. Alright, let's go into the Igatha Ruins. I bet this place is going to be awesome too. Ooh, spooky. This reminds me of Dark Hyrule Fantasy, actually. That uh, that setup over there definitely screams the uh, mansion from Dark Hyrule Fantasy, which was also another demo, which is a shame, unfortunately. It seems like development has stopped for that. Hopefully someone picks it up in the future. But this place is definitely giving me that uh, Dark Hyrule Fantasy vibe. Huh. So we've got separate little buildings that we can go into, like a little village. That's a cool fountain, too. I love the... Uh, 
the moon on top. I like that design. And as always, with each spot that I've been in, the music is awesome. Different music for inside. Oh, snap. Oh, we got the uh, Majora's Mask things again. I hear a redead. That's not good. I don't want to get scared by another white redead coming to chomp on my head. Crates. Should I break these? Well, I just did, so. Hope I don't need them. Alright, so upstairs then. It's quiet in here. I see you over there. You know unpleasant surprises, please. Okay, so they take them out the same same amount of hits. Hmm. What does this say? It seems like some kind of diary. Are you really going to read it? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's here. Oh, love, how I've missed you dearly. Our fathers say we're not allowed to meet anymore, but what do they know? They will never accept us. Lately, the earthquakes have become truly frightening, and I wish we could lay in each other's arms and forget all about that bad things around us. <laughs> I messed that up. I'm going to sneak over soon. I've decided I want to spend more time together with you. The hideout is our only safe haven. Safe haven. It's so funny how your father doesn't suspect that we used his own shovel to make our hideaway right inside his house. I'll make my way over toward the graveyard as soon as my father goes to sleep. He'll be none the wiser. I can't wait to see you. I know our secret poem, but I've been very forgetful lately, so I'll write it down so that there is no chance I forget. Hidden beneath knowledge, be hidden behind knowledge, the lone book sleeps wa keeps watch, with pen as mighty as a sword, stabbed to unveil the notch. Lone book and stab were highlighted there. Huh. Can I break this? It looks like I can. Oops. I took off the boots. I love the purple uh, spin attack. No, maybe a bomb. Maybe a bomb. Maybe a bomb might do the trick. I feel like I should be able to get in there. Oh, there it goes. Lone book and stab. Hmm. We got a window. Out the window. So we got a secret romance going on here. She went to the graveyard. I remember that. Okay. So this allows access to the roofs. Looks like. Let's do some roof climbing. Well designed area. I love this. Keeping an eye out for Scarditas. I like that the Scarditas also don't seem to be tied to day and night so far. Which is nice because... That's how I always miss Skulltolas, because of the day and night cycle. Like, some are out at night and some aren't. Alright, I guess we go up here. So it's like some kind of lighthouse, or a bell tower, okay. Can we do anything with this? Hmm. Okay. Can we do anything with this? Oops. All right, that didn't do anything. How about uh, bow or the anchor? Can we throw the anchor up like that? Oh no, we can only throw it forward places. All right, so no. Oh, okay. Oh, we can push it now. Um, maybe push it off the edge. Whoa, it broke. But what was inside it? Ah! Oh, did it like, was there like a door here or something that needed to be broken down with that? All right, so I guess we can go inside there. I didn't even notice that there was like a blocked door or anything. Go no snap. Oh. Can we use this on these guys? That's actually an interesting experiment. Oh, it doesn't do anything. What about the bow? That does hurt him. But two shots, so boomerang's still the best bet. Gotcha. I see you, bat. Ooh, clipped them on the back end. You know, it's very nice using the boomerang for the bats and not having to waste arrows when they're flying at you. Of course, this is a key door, though, and I don't have any keys. Unless there's one inside uh, these bins. Boxes. Whoa. 
I can't not, uh, what is this thing? Yellow bubble. Mostly harmless will probably be more afraid of you than you are of it. Okay. What about these jars? Must break the pots. Wow. A lot of rupees. Alright, so I can't do anything in there without a key. Okay. Well, let's just take a little bit more of a look around town then. There's definitely a lot of buildings to go into. We got a little fountain there. Let's check this place. See what we got. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, snap. All right. <laughs> All right, that's that one. Ooh, I see a um, frozen eye switch. Cool. Oop, I hear a scritchy scratchy. Somewhere. Bats. How do we light this torch? Doesn't seem to be anything else we can do in here without being able to melt that eye with the torch, which probably unlocks that door. So let's remember that and come back because, oh, <laughs> I like jumped on the door. That was weird. That's that building. We already went in there and went over the, oh, we didn't go in this building because we skipped over it on the roof to the bell tower place. Let's check this one. Oh, no. More kinds of re-deads? Black ones? The heck? Redead zombie. These things seem relentless. There's got to be some way to keep them down for good. Okay. Oh, snap. All right. No, go away. Don't do that. Okay, um, they get up, oh god, no, um, this is terrifying, actually, they want to give me a hug, what about fire, ah, no, stop, oh, get off, oh my gosh, Oh, okay. So, yeah, you burn them once they're down. Wow. Okay. Let me say, why else would they put fire there? Whew. Okay. That's, that's a new mechanic. I like it. Adds more uh, strategy to it. So, you gotta burn them up. Oh, nice key. Burn them up when they're down on the ground. Gotcha. Makes sense, too, because they put a skeleton there laying down on the ground. You okay there, buddy? You've seen better days. Um, yeah. Wow. That was, uh, that was terrifying. The way they, like, ran towards you with the arms out. Like, holy crap. That was scary. All right. So we went in there, and this building needed a key. Although there's also a key door to get into that other building over to the right. So let's... Uh, oh, no, this wasn't the building with the key. It was... Uh, where was that one? It wasn't this one, was it? I don't think so. We'll find out, I guess. Oh. Oh, I wonder if this place has the book that was talked about in that uh, diary. It's so weird having a huge rupee counter like that. Oh boy. Or these dudes. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have broken that. Oh, a regular read dead. Oh, we got fire. Yeah, I know you're trying to get me. Need to lure him over here so I can burn him up. Ah, jeez. All right, I need to quickly take this over to him and burn him up. 
I'm not going to make it. Ooh, I did. All right. So it looks like we can light other torches too to make this make our lives a little easier. There's a torch here. Two. I have no idea where the other ones are. Probably uh, right here. And oh no. Ah, of course I would have put it away. And there's one there too. Wow. Okay. And the torches are all going to go out too because I'm taking way too long. It's alright, we'll do it again. It's got rupees laying around everywhere in here. I hear the scritchy scratchy. Are you in there? Probably gotta use the bookshelves to... Nope. All right, let's try that again. Now that everything is out of our way. All right, so one. Two, three, four. Nice. I got scared there for a second. Thing grabbed me. Well, I feel like there's something I have to do by going on top of these bookshelves. So let's see. All right. Last well, night, get up there. Although I feel like, whoa gonna have to get there a different way because it's not far enough hmm. um. maybe these ones there we go now to navigate across the tops of these oh all right careful can I jump over there that's gonna be quite the uh Oh, oof, man, that was quite the jump. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make that. Unless, um, uh, try it. Nope. Hmm. All right, so what happens if we charge? Oops. Oops. Hello? Oh, so you can, like, charge jump off of things. Okay, well, that changes things. Um, if I can get back to that spot again. Oh, I don't know. It's going to be kind of a stretch. Nice grab, though. Carefully. Do a skippity hop over to this one again. Yep. All right. I don't know. Ooh, wow, that was so close. All right, so then we can, should be able to do this one too. Aha, nice. 20 so far, um, although did I just create a problem for myself? You can climb that? <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty hilarious, but I guess I just did it in a more stylish way. You can climb that thing the whole time, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, now we know how to do that dashing, whoa, um, thing. That's so funny. Another key. Nice. Two for two. All right. So nothing else in this room. Got it. No more purple spooters. Get. See, so we walk so fast now that like they don't really bother you too much if you just keep moving. No lone book in this room though, like uh, was mentioned in that thing. Well, it didn't. I can't remember where the journal said there was a lone book. If it did. All right. So how about this building that needs a key? Hmm? More torch shenanigans. Okay. Pits of Doom. Nice. 
Peek around the corners because you never know what's going to jump out of you. Hmm. Closed door. Hmm. Second floor, though. All right. Let's see what we got uh, upstairs. I hear a torch. Hmm. A red rupee. Oh, wow. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we can use our uh, super duper jump. Let's try it. I took the boots off instead of using them. Ooh. Okay. That was nice. Hey. Hey, we still got that weird random lag for no reason. I gotta find that torch. It was back in like the front area. Hey! Stop the crackle and lag. What could this be? Ah, indigo rupee for 50. Nice. And then the door was in here. Oh, that was close. Alright. Nothing in this little spot. It's kind of suspicious. eerie down here. Oh boy. This looks uh terrifying. Oh. It's a wolf. Multiple wolves. Alright. Anybody else? Five hundred and twenty-four rupees. Hmm. Can we move this? Yes, we can. Push this back in place or something? Oh. It turned. What the heck? I'm very confused right now. Oh, they turn. Oh, face them that way. All right, that's an interesting little bit there. Is this gonna be another key? Yes, another door. Oh boy. This looks, oh! Those things from Majora's Mask. Wow, can't uh, damage them either. Ah, stop that. <sighs> Another one. Or the uh, very resilient three deads. All right, but we have a torch nearby. Quick, burn them up. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hey, they gave me sticks. They knew I needed them. Buzz blobs. Oh. Oh, they got like the drippy sound for, oh, the boss key, okay. The drippy sound from the Chamber of Sages. Oh, they come back if you go in and out of there, okay. Wow. Okay, I hear a Scardita. Some 
steps. Aha! Twenty-one. Only nine more left. All right. So how are we supposed to uh, get rid of that? I don't know if we're going to be able to get a torch all the way over here. Ah. Wow, okay. Are these guys like buffed buzz blobs or something like that? I don't remember them being like that on the uh, out in the plains. Alright, see if we can make it over there with the uh, torch. I don't know. It's kind of a long ways to go. Ah, oh, no. Alright, so I guess not. Unless there's a way to run with the torch. But I don't know. These guys come back every time I try. But they do give you unlimited Deku sticks here, it looks like, so... No, we can't, can't run with that. Huh. Well, maybe there's something that we need to be able to accomplish this. Unless... Can I hit the, those through this grate? Not. All right. Never mind. All right. Well, there must be something that we don't have that we need for that room because I don't have any way to light that web on fire. Back out we go because we definitely have some more places we can go because we have two keys. Whoa. So the game decided to crash on me there for some reason. I'm not sure why. And I recreated exactly what I did. And it did crash again. However, this third time that I'm trying to go through the door, I went down there, killed the Scardita, and then came right back up instead of going into that area with the gate and the boss key chest, and it seemed to work okay. So, not sure what the deal was with that, but I don't think we can do anything else down there for now. So let's go back up here with our two keys and see what we can find. And hopefully not, uh, not crash again. Because unfortunately, I hadn't saved at all since I started playing, so I had to redo not a whole lot because I didn't really do a whole lot, but you know, turning in the Scardita eyes again and all that stuff. So let's save it here just because it looks like we may start running into some problems. So we've been in pretty much all of these houses. Let's go in here and do the uh, key door, I guess, because we have two keys to our name now. So I feel like we're going to get something that lets us burn stuff soon. Ow. See what's in here. Ooh, hello. It's a little corridor. Oh. It seems Irene is up to no good again. She's gone and created a vessel that can harness magic and turn it into flame. We'll have to do something about her. She's been snooping around the graveyard. It's only a matter of time before she finds the chamber. If she were to discover the hole beneath the broken grave that stands between two ferns. The Viscount will have my head. I don't want to become one of those things. It's times like these I need to stay calm and remember part of our town poem. Silhouette against the moon. The beast that faces right stands loathsome in the night. Huh. Okay. Is this the lone room with the uh, book to stab? I don't know. Behind knowledge? Don't think so. Doesn't really look like uh, this would be the place for that. So what exactly did I say again? It's a graveyard. Discover the hole beneath the broken grave that stands between two ferns. Silhouette against the moon. The beast that faces right stands lonesome, lonesome in the night. What does that mean? Silhouette of the moon. Does that mean the moon statue in uh, the front area? Or? What? 
not really sure. Hmm. Peculiar. Silhouette of the moon. Beast that faces right. Maybe it's talking about the statues down, um, down below that I was pushing around that spun. Maybe that's what it is. And it was just telling me, like, what I needed to do with that. Let's check some of these, uh, surrounding areas, because we haven't really checked behind the buildings and stuff. I'm sure there's hidden stuff around here. So that's where we just were. Nothing in the grass. That leads to this. I guess we can poke around here for a minute. That's closed. Does that open eventually, maybe? Passably? Maybe? Passably? Um, so... Over here... Sticks, that's nice. Was there anything else to do in this building? I can't remember. Now this was the one with the uh, frozen eye switch that we can't seem to... Unless... Weren't we able to break something with bombs? Oh wow, that's a lot of rupees. Hold on. Weren't we able to break that with bombs in the start of the game? There was like a bomb trail that led to frozen eye switch. Let's try it. Nope. Okay. So this room still seems to be a dead end for the time being. Hmm. Um, this was the first building that we went into that led upstairs. This one... This had the chest with the first time we saw those re-deads. Pretty sure this one was the library one. And pretty sure we did everything in here too. Oh. Oops. That didn't work very well. Yep. Grabbed a rupee. Ooh, they actually hurt you this time. that and this just led to this room which had a chest in it with a key nothing else of note where's this graveyard that everything keeps talking about I don't know can we get to that somehow or or what go away what are we missing? Oh, we didn't go behind this house. Oh, is this a pathway off to somewhere else? Oh, I think this might be. Let's check it out. Where does this go? this lead to the graveyard that everybody's talking about? Why did I see like a shadow behind me? That was so scary. Yep, this is the graveyard. All right, so wow, it's hazy. And that needs a key, that's interesting. Let's check that out. This area is pretty elaborate. There's some extra gravestones here, it looks like. 
Oh. That did something. Okay. And we got a hole. Yeah. Oof. Oh, okay. These will be our final moments. I see no escape for us now. I am happy at least to be able to spend them with you. Oh no! We leave this note for anyone who happens to find us down here. Now know that we passed on, con on content. Our eternal happiness awaits. In my last passing breath, I'll always think back to my favorite part of the town poem. Fly towards the sun, little bird, and let its light warm you within skies you flew. Wow, so that's the couple that was um, referenced in those notes. What is this? Is this going to be our next tool? Let's see. The legendary gravekeeper shovel. This shovel once belonged to a long forgotten gravekeeper. His cold heart was eventually softened by a fast young boy who often called him his buddy. Wow. Okay, so we got the shovel now. So we have some things we can do outside of Igatha now. The digging game and that girl's house in Tokiria Forest that said there was something in her house that we should check. Now what's upstairs in this place? Whoa. More fast zombies. Spooters. <laughs> Bats just like falling into the chest. Oh, Indigo Ruby, nice. All right, you need to be torched. Die. Do we get anything for killing all the enemies in here? Nope. But we got the shovel. And Indigo Rupee. Nice. So I'm, I'm assuming the shovel's gonna become handy. Oh, that was weird. Um, in the graveyard. So. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not like an item item. It's just a, uh. Oh, crap. So it's just a, um, like a permanent item. Okay. So how bad of an idea do you think it would be to dig up all these graves? Probably not the best. Uh, I think I might have created a problem for myself. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Alright, so probably shouldn't do the ones that are unnecessary. What was the thing that said in between two ferns? The broken gravestone. Nope, not that one. I don't want to die. Um, oh, I hear a... They're after me. 22. All right, I'm very concerned right now. Broken gravestone between two ferns. Oh, that's probably that one. We're not. Go away. Whoa, the other one just like stands there and waves his arms. That's so weird. All right, so where's that? Oh, it's between two ferns. This one. Whew, man, that was, uh, that was rough. Okay. Oh no. This is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. All right, uh, Jabu Milk coming in clutch. Oh, I don't think that's enough. Do not move. Oh, this is the... Uh, other side of the room that, um, can we still not shoot through these? We cannot. All right. Um, I'm genuinely concerned. Can we shoot him? Ooh. Okay. I mean, that works. 
Man, I was so scared for my life there for a second. And indigo rupee. Nice. Ah. Oh boy. This looks like it's going to be bad. Hey, nice little refill though. What on earth is this going to be? Okay. Oh. What the heck is that? It's like an upside down head wolf. That is freaking, oh my gosh, terrifying. How am I supposed to hurt him? Oh, from the back. Okay. Wow. Oh no. Holy. Okay, they don't all split off into small ones. Okay, I was like, no, you better not. I faced the wrong way. Okay, back to the main thing. Whew. That was weird, but um, awesome at the same time. That was a terrifying wolf. What could this be? We already got the shovel. Is this going to be our like fire that looks like we're going to be needing soon? The magic lantern. Set it to C and press C to ignite it with magic flames and light your path. Try swinging it in front of you. If it hits an enemy, it will burn them. Ah. We've been given fire. Okay. Oh, wow. That was cool. Ah. Nice. All right. So we have now been given fire. Let's save it. Because last time I was in this type of area, it crashed through this door. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we have an ability to light the one torch in that place and um, ignite the web yeah. and kill these zombies reliably. All right, so can we use it on these guys? I love that animation. Nice. And refill our magic every time too, so we can... Ow, man, it really hurts when you dig up a wrong one. Um... I just want to see what's in the rest of these graves, because there could be secrets. Ah. Well, I don't know if we have the uh, the health to do that. Ah. I love that like fire cast and then putting it in the torch. All right, so maybe it's not such a good, such a good idea to uh, try and dig up all these graves. Let's not. Let's be sure there's nothing else over here by this house. No Scarditas floating around, wanting to be slain. All right. All right, so now we can probably do more back in the main housing area here, because there's got to be more. So, the first house here on the left is the one that had the, um, yeah, that thing. The room with the book that initially told you about the couple who obviously died. That's that room. We don't need to be in there. 
with the random lag again. And yes, the lag happened again while I was replaying and not recording. So I don't, it's not recording. I don't know what it is that makes it get so weird and choppy and crackly at spots. That was the library building. This is, this is the room with the frozen eye switch, I think, that uh, needed the torch lit. Yeah. Take that. Ooh, he went away. Well, they dropped bonk shoes. Yeah, we're randomly lagging again. Now we can light this torch. That's a good rupee farm. Like, if you just go in there and fight the, uh... Stealing Master every time. That would be an efficient rupee farm. Nice. This is close quarters. Gimme. 23, seven left. Another key, nice. All right, so that house is officially uh, considered done. So I think the only one left to do is, um... what is it? The one that went downstairs that I crashed in and there was, um... the web, the web that needed to burn down. But this one, It was a single key door, but what was at the other side of this? Why can't I remember? I think it was just... It was just a room with, um... Oh, that was a bad idea. Oh, snap. Ah, stop! That was dumb. Nice. This was just... Yeah, this was just the room with the... Fallen bookshelf. Alright, so we just have to go back to that place that I crashed in before, which is terrifying, but... We'll do what we have to do. Get some pickups from these jars. Nice. Yeet! Can't catch me. Okay, so, that building over there. Which is where I had the problem. See what awaits us, because the boss key was down there. So where's the actual, like, um, boss room? I feel like the gate to that bigger mansion-like area will open, or maybe that's where the demo ends. I don't know. Nope. All right, this is where we started having problems, so I'm just going to start loading up on save states right before here so that we don't have any issues, because that would suck. Ignore these guys. Ignore those dudes. Run past the buzz blobs. Bye bye. Alright. These things. We already got the Scardita. Ah, I put it away by accident. There we go. Hello there. Oh, I actually, like, used my magic power on it. Why is the one still green? What? Why? Alright. That's not that. Oh, snap. Wow, this is like a kitchen-like area. This is cool. More zombies. Refill our magic power. All right. 
Ooh. Oh, what is that? Candle head. It looks like a candle and he probably shares and probably shares his vulnerability to fire. Okay. Oh snap. Ah, oh, we saw those in the Oracle games too, like the candles that lit up and bounced around the room. Whoa. That was cool. Alright, so that's like a broken Oh, is this the inside of the mansion that we couldn't get to? I think it is. It looks like it would be. Ah, oh, another one. Oh, and they hurt you when you bounce around too. It makes sense. Like they do in the Aegis games. Boom. Alright, so there's a piece of heart attached to the chandelier there. Can we shoot that down? Oh no, we can just boomerang it. Duh. Or not. Let's try that again. There we go. Yay. Collect four pieces. That's our first one again. Ah, yeah, it's a bad spot to ignite that thing. Boom. Alright, so we got some doors we can go in. Well, we got the key one. And this right here. Why'd the music stop? Oh, that's the boss room. Are they going to actually have a boss here? All right. Let's save it up. There's got to be a way that goes back down into that uh, area where the boss key was. So these guys come back. All right. Still have a key under our belt. Oh dear. All right. Easy to take care of these guys now. Another large chest. What could this be? Something else to... Oh, a piece of heart. Two more. Alright, so that's two more pieces of hearts in a span of like less than five minutes. Nice. Alright, anything uh, interesting paintings there? Oh! Another secret bookshelf. Is this the behind knowledge thing that they were talking about? I keep saying that about the books, but. Oh! What? Only seems to open from the inside. Aw, oh, come on. So that was like a shortcut that took me right back out. Bro. Okay, now I have to go back down there. Oh no, I can use the this thing. Is this a teleport thing? I don't think I've used one of these yet, but if this does what I think it does, then that's actually very convenient. Glad I went in that room first to find that. Of course I can't see because oh here we go away nice good so now I'll go back through that other area all right so now I just um, open the key door up here still not sure how we're gonna get to that boss key open sesame oh snap oh this is cool All right, I feel like there's some sort of puzzle here. The full, oh, what is it? What would that note say that was back in that one area? I can't believe this is happening. He promised it wouldn't end up like this. I should have known it was nothing but lies. Every one of the townspeople is either dying or dead, and it's only a matter of time until it comes for me as well. I would try to use my secret passageway in my room, the one that's hidden behind the bookshelf, but it's already too late. I even stole the idea from those foolish girls who thought they could hide their secrets. I spent my entire life using the people of this village and I don't regret a single moment of it, not one. What we created down there will become a beacon of what is to come. Oh, how I wish I could see the day. Glory to the darkness. What? Tail, what do you have to say? 
Something about this room feels off, doesn't it? Maybe we should go over everything we already know. I memorized those passages we read in the books. Maybe they have something to do with what's going on here. Fly towards the sun, little bird, and let its light warn you. Within skies you flew, okay? Silhouette against the moon, the beast that faces right stands loathsome in the night. So, the wolf... Can we move these? Yeah. So the wolf to the moon, I guess. And then the bird to the sun. Alright. Okay, so that's there. Now the bird has to go to the sun. Fly towards the sun. If it would stop spinning. Alright. I'll bet that leads down to the boss key area. I'll bet you money. Is there anything else in this place that's kind of secret? Shooting any of these paintings do anything? I love these paintings. Huh. It's a cool room though. All right, so we can use that trap door as a shortcut back to the main area. Down as a hole. Uh huh. Whoa. A spirally room here. Looks like we use this to uh, light all these torches. So don't have to worry about our stick going out, which is nice. Oh, I see a spooter down there. A purple spooter. Hey, nice. Twenty-four, only six left. I wonder what the last thing you can get from the uh, that one hut is. We are gonna find out. Ah, here we are. So we just have to light both these at the same time, right? Oops, we still have the boots equipped. Oh, and you can equip them without them being on our C buttons. That's interesting. Huh. Ah, that opened that gate. Gotcha. Although I'm kind of scared to go there because um, that's where I crashed. So I think that might not be a good idea. So let's save it just in case something happens since this is the problematic room. But those things though, look at that. What the heck are those? They're like in tanks. That's so creepy. Like what the heck is that? Wow. All right, um, so nothing else to do in here. There's right, so no crash going through that door. It's probably faster just to go out this way anyway, because going the other way, you'd have to go all the way back through the house. Whereas this, you just go up through the middle and then do the shortcut um, teleporter to the boss room. Away we go. Cool. And then just use this teleporter, and then we're at the boss door. I really wonder if, if there is actually a boss behind there. I'm actually very curious because they didn't put one in the ship place. 
But they don't have a disclaimer sign in the front, so maybe if we get something? Maybe we get whoever was responsible for this mansion place. I don't know, I'm very curious. Let's save state it up just in case something weird happens. Pretty full on everything. Especially now. Alright, let's um let's go in. Oh. Oh, is it gonna be Bongo Bongo? Oh, this torch. So what's the torch for? And we don't have the lens. Maybe the torch has something to do with it. And we don't bounce. Okay. Phantom Shadow Beast Bongo Bongo. Alright, so... Oh, snap. Didn't shoot him. Alright, so I think I understand what you have to do here. The torch lets you see him. <laughs> One cycle. That's an interesting new way to fight him, though. And, you know, he kind of fits in with the lore of the area. Like, he turned into this kind of crazy creature and there was the creatures and tanks down there where the boss key was that's an interesting little bit there i like that new bongo bongo lore unlocked nice i liked that and the torch went out right was house oh Kalax sigil. Magical energy flows through this design. Limit limitless power seems to pulse inside it. Nice. Another container for the defense. Sweet. Alright, I guess we'll uh, just leave then. Okay, so put us right back out to the road. Nice. Well, that was a cool dungeon type area, even though I had a problem with crashing in that one spot. Let's go back to the uh, the hut and see, first of all, if there's any more rewards, although I don't think so. Though we did hit 20, didn't we? Um, after we talked to them. And just to see how many more are left in places, because I think the next episode is going to be whatever's next and clean up. Incredible. Oh, we get something else. <gasps> Rock's feather. Oh, nice. All right. I was wondering, actually, if you were going to get that from... Uh... Nice. Yes. That's so cool. All right. Well, I think that's a good spot to uh, stop. And then I'm not really sure if there's anything else to do. I guess we can go back and talk to the... Um... What's her name? The Gerudo girl. I forget her name. Back in Luna City and see if she has anything else to say now that we have all three sigils. And find out where the rest of the Scarditas are since we have a tracker. None in there. None in there. Three more in the plains. One in the ranch. One in the forest. One in the ice. Gotcha. So the forest, the ice, and the plains. So there's three, four, how many? Three in the plains. Four and five, six. So there's six left. All right. So as always, if you guys liked the episode, make sure you leave a comment telling me what you think and like the video and subscribe for the rest of this chapter two demo and Tears of the Kingdom on Saturdays and Super Mario RPG. So as always, until the next episode, take care. Hi, hi.